All right, so JP is about to get one of the best quality of life updates that we've seen in quite some time with a bunch of new features that will make the game overall just more fun and efficient to play. And this is technically part of the uh, version Z experience, I guess. And the official version number is 5.2.0. So with that said, let's jump right into it here, starting with the first new feature, which is a button in the training screen, which will allow you to automatically set the training items slash characters and training location that will max out your character's level. Now, obviously, this is not something that took a long time to do previously, but it will save you a little bit of time, and it's especially going to be helpful if you're trying to train multiple characters at once, right? And from there, we have the second feature, which is a change to the Extreme Z Awakening process. So before the update, as you guys know, if you're trying to fully Extreme Z Awaken a character, it would take a very long time to go through all the steps. You would have to awaken them first for the first step and then train them and then awaken again and train again and then awaken and train, awaken and train back and forth for all the steps. And it was just very tedious and unnecessary, right? But now there is a new option, a new button, which will allow you to take a unit from level 120, super attack 10 to level 140, Super Attack 15 for like regular Extreme Z Awakenings, all in one step, provided you have all the medals that are required. So as you can see, the example they used here is the Fizz Final Form Cooler. And with a click of this one new button, you can take him to fully Extreme Z Awaken status without having to flip back and forth between the Awakening and training pages. And this will definitely save people a ton of time, especially when it comes to those uh, Extreme Z battles and Extreme Z areas where you have like five to seven new Extreme Z Awakenings all at once, right? So this is amazing. It's uh, something that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. So I'm glad they finally are implementing it. And uh, number three, we have a new button as well. So basically this is the update of buttons, it seems like, because that's essentially are getting. We have the, you know, auto training one, we have the fully extreme Z awaken button, and now we have this new rematch button at the end of a stage, which will allow you to jump back into the stage much quicker than before. So for example, if you're farming link levels on stage 23-8 and you just finished a run, now you can just hit that red rematch button and it'll take you back into the stage to farm more link levels much, much quicker. And of course, this will help with farming uh, metals, farming copies of a new unit, and just farming anything in the game in general. So that is the rematch button. And what else do we have here? Oh, this is huge. Okay, this is arguably the most exciting feature <laughs> to me. And that is the ability to search for categories by name with text, right? So let's say you're looking for Kamehameha, instead of having to go through the page uh, or the list of all the categories, you can just search Kamehameha and it'll you know, show that category and you can click on it and select it, right? Now, the only issue with this on JP is that most of you guys watching this video are not Japanese speakers and don't know how to you know, write Japanese or even type it on a phone. So it might not be super useful for the non-Japanese speakers, um, for native Japanese players, you know, for people that actually have uh, knowledge about the language, this is going to be super, super good. But unfortunately, I feel like it's not going to be as useful if you don't have like a Japanese keyboard on your phone or just the ability to type Japanese characters. So um, this is definitely something that's more exciting, I feel like, for the global players, because in the future, once, you know, this update comes to global, it'll be very easy to just type in like pure Saiyans or uh, space traveling warriors or whatever and find that category. And I guess this means that we're not gonna get alphabetical categories, but this is definitely the next best thing or arguably even better. Yeah, it's arguably even better than listing the categories in uh, alphabetical order because now you don't have to worry about what order they're in. You just have to type in the characters 
or type in the text and find the category very quickly like that. So uh, yeah, definitely a feature I'm excited for, just maybe not as useful to a lot of you guys watching at the moment, right? And uh, that is pretty much it, guys. That is update 5.2.0. There might be something else to this update that hasn't been revealed yet, but for now, according to the in-game news, it's these four main things. Number one, the button to automatically select training characters or training items and uh, training locations. A button to automatically fully extreme Z awaken a unit in one step. A button to rematch a stage so you can jump back into it faster. And also the search bar for, uh, you know, finding a category by text. And there you go. That is the update. Like I said, very, very good quality of life update. Everything that, um, I mean, not everything that people were asking for, because obviously we still need some kind of change, some kind of improvement to the friend system. So that is still a forthcoming update in the future, I'm sure. But for now, a lot of positive changes. I have no complaints about anything that they're including here. And uh, that is 5.2.0 coming to JP soon, and obviously on global as well sometime in the future. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below, guys, which of these features are you the most excited for? Which one do you think is going to make the biggest difference in our lives as Dokkan players? And as always, if you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.